Yes, I know I'm super late, y'all. I'm so sorry, my bad. Like, it's been a busy week. It really has. But I'm going to go ahead and do this because, like, next week, I plan on going live with all my Zodiacs. So, you know, we can get to know each other a little bit more. But um, anyway, you guys, I already done pulled some cards for you. And the first one I got out was the Queen of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who's very stable, somebody who... um take care of themselves so i feel like you guys maybe you neglected yourself in the past you neglected yourself for other people you you did more for others than you did yourself and now you're trying to you know nurture yourself i feel like spirit i'm been with you through some really rough times like you guys had to really um you know, fight off some demons, I feel like. Just things about you that you feel like needed to go or needed to change. But I really see you guys working on yourself. You're letting any type of burdens in your life go. And this could be like towards your person. This could be, you know, behaviors, patterns, just things that's not progressing you throughout your life. You letting it go. Yeah, I feel like you carry a lot on your back. You probably do everything around the house too. Like you you do all the cooking, all the cleaning, you wash the clothes, fold the clothes, you gotta, you know, cook the breakfast and all this other stuff, dinner, get the kids ready. Yeah. It's like you releasing a lot of things that's keeping you from really taking care of yourself. Yeah. Let's see. What's crossing this spirit? Okay, so we got the five of swords here. Okay, you guys, I'm picking up a couple of things from this. Um... I feel like somebody m might have spoke neg negative to you, like regarding yourself, like how, you know, your your weight or someone may maybe said something that was real cruel to you or it was some harsh words exchange. And, and I feel like this took a big hit to your self-esteem. Like you really, you couldn't believe like this person would say something like that to you. Yeah, that's for some of you guys. For others of you, um, like this could have been a partner, like somebody that you're dating. Like they could have, like I said, it was aimed towards lowering your self-esteem and your confidence and this is also some of you guys telling negative things to yourself like speaking negativity in your life i feel like a lot of you guys are your own worst critics Like, everything that you do, you beat yourself up about it. And I feel like you guys are working on letting this part of you go. Yeah. Spirit, what's going on in this book? <clears throat> okay, so in the subconscious, two cards popped out here. And it says, you are a bad, badass being full of life, love, and possibilities. Through this deck, you may find a path this, you may find a path to your best self. So, so yeah, it's like <clears throat> you releasing this old you. You know that it has to go because it's holding you back. It's holding you back from 
this gift, this new life that you're seeking. Yeah, it's like it's time to release it now. But I feel like you're you might be having some type of resistance to this transformation here. It's like it's hard for you to get started. Are you trying to find the motivation to get moving? You know, you know it's what you gotta do, but it's like at the same time you're like, oh my God, where do I start? I'm so used to doing this. I'm used so I'm, you you used to being comfortable, okay. This is going to be uncomfortable for you to do this. But I feel like it's a transformation that you know you got to go through. A lot of you, you feel drained, drained and tired. And you know, a lot of you know, like, it's because you haven't been taking care of yourself. It's, it's because you haven't get, been getting enough rest. It's because you haven't been eating healthy or drinking plenty of water and you know you noticing things about yourself and you know that if you keep on on this path that you know your health is going to deteriorate so yeah like a lot of you you know you're getting older and you want to be be there for your kids you want to be around for your grandkids yeah Okay, so this is subconscious. Yeah, that's the spirit. So what's in the conscious? Okay. So, yeah, in the conscious, we got the Eight of Wands and the Emperor in reverse here. So, like, with the Eight of Wands, this is, like, forward move, movement. This is, like, full speed ahead, going ahead and doing it, you know, making it happen. But with the Emperor here in the reverse, hmm, the Eight of Wands and the Emperor in reverse. I feel like maybe some of you, this is like quick messages going in to someone. Who's a tyrant? Someone who's four headed. I feel like somebody could have said something too quick. And this person, um, they're real ruthless when they talk. Are you, I feel like you guys is thinking about somebody who, who says something that it really kind of caught you off guard. This person is kind of arrogant, um, real stubborn. It's like they like sod in their ways. It's like they way or no way type of person. I feel like this person could have said something too quickly. And... <clears throat> And some of you guys, you want to move forward in this progress, but you finding it hard to um, to put forth the effort. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Spirit, what what's going on in your past? What's going on in your past, Spirit? Okay, so yeah, we got the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in the reverse here. With these cards like this, I feel like somebody left you out in the cold. Um, it was somebody that you was emotionally tied to, you loved. So I do feel like this is a relationship. But yeah, I feel like somebody left you out in the cold here. They walked away from this connection, from this family. Um... This could happen in the wintertime. Um, or you guys could um, stay where it snow a lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I feel like you and this person, y'all could have shared a house together. 
y'all could have had a blended family as well. Yeah, both of y'all could have had children. I feel like this person could have moved to the city. This person thought the, the grass was greener on the other side. Yeah. Hmm. But I feel like this really, this really has you, your, your, your emotions like was up there. <laughs> you was on a thousand. Do you hear me? I feel like this person was cold. Like the way they did things, the way they ended things was kind of cold. Here, why is the ten of cups here in the reverse? Four of Pentacles here. Yeah. I feel like you I feel like this is your energy. Like you didn't want you didn't want to let this person go. Like even though they was doing the things that they was doing, you didn't want to let them go. Yeah, I feel like this person this person done really done you wrong in in life. But it's like you did everything you could to try to make this work. Yeah, either you moved to the city or this person moved to the city. But I feel like y'all don't stay, like, close like that. Yeah, like, one of you could live in a country area and the other person could live, like, in the city. Yeah, I feel like you guys, this made you, um, this made you not want to let your guards down here, but I feel like you guys are, you guys are working on letting your guard down and loving again. It's, it's like you've been blocking your heart, but it's like you starting to release it now. I know I'm saying like, but it's like... <laughs> <laughs> y'all I'm sleepy I'm sorry I am I'm I'm trying I gotta get this ready now and I don't want it to be too long so spirit what's going on in the near future okay so we got the star here in the reverse let's see clarify the star spirit in the reverse Oh, Lord, spirit. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Um, I feel like... I feel like this right here with the star here in the reverse, that this person haven't healed. They haven't. But I feel like you guys, you're being um, released from this mental prison that you've been in. Like, this really done had you in your head. But at this time, this person isn't healing. I feel like these is kind of two separate energies right here. I, this had you, like, really in your head, in your emotions. Some of you wasn't eating. Some of you guys were. You was overeating, like emotional eating. Um... You was sleeping a lot. You stayed tired. Like, I just see you guys just being trained, working, working. I see working at the house and working at work. It's like you never had any time for yourself. Yeah, I just see you guys really releasing this, this mental anguish you've been in. But I definitely feel like this person is unhealed. And they're going to try to come back in, like, as you're starting to release this from your heart. Like, a lot of you guys, you, it's like you're purging. You finna go through a purging stage. You know you got to because you've been in this energy for too long. It's time to heal now. Spirit, what's the attitude? 
Okay, so yeah, we got the lovers cards here. So I feel like this is you guys hoping for a new beginning. Like, and I'm not talking about with this person here, but I feel like you know that it's something better that's coming. You you know that it's time for you to fall in love again, to open up, to open up your heart. God is, is showing you what you need to do. A lot, you could have had a dream or you know this in your heart. You're starting to love yourself again as well. Yeah, I do definitely see you guys eating like more healthier foods. Definitely. Yeah, if you're a um, divine feminine, um, you probably, I feel like you live more in a country area. Wherever you live, you're able to see the stars. Because in the city, you can't see nothing, huh? I, I can go to the city and shop y'all, but I cannot go to the city and live. I can't, I, re, I can stay on the outskirts, but I cannot stay in the city, real talk. Spirit, why is the lover's cards here? I like to sometimes just lay out on my card and just look at the stars real talk. Okay, so we yeah, we got the three of pentacles here in, in the reverse to clarify the lovers. So yeah, I feel like Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't in teamwork in this last relationship that that you was in, I feel like this person could have left you for another man or woman. This person was more passionate about what they wanted to do to like even pay attention to you or you them. But yeah, I, I feel like you're releasing this now. Spirit, what's what's in the in the what's in the environment, spirit? If I can talk, Lord Jesus. I need some coffee. I need some coffee, y'all. <laughs> okay, so yeah. This is the two of swords here. This is um I feel like this you coming to a decision or trying to make a decision on when to start. It's like <laughs> you're procrastinating right now. You you know it has to happen, but it's like you don't even have the energy to get started. So let me just say, get started, okay? Start doing this now. To love yourself is the best gift you can give yourself. Okay, because if you don't save yourself, honey, nobody else will. You have to care enough about yourself to take care of yourself, despite everything that's going on around you. Okay, stress is the number one killer. Not taking care of ourselves, not eating happy, I mean happy, <laughs> eating healthy and drinking plenty of water. Like real talk, we got to, we have to do that for ourselves. We have to nourish our body. Don't we won't be here to take care of nobody. So, yeah, I feel like some of you guys are really trying to decide when to get started. Like, <clears throat> you know, when when to, you know, start doing this. Because I feel like when you do it, you want to uh, be successful at it. You don't want to do it and, like, fall back into bad habits here. Spear, so, why is the two of swords here? Yeah, and then we got the magician here in the reverse. So, two of swords in the magician. So, some of you guys are not able to make a decision about somebody who has betrayed you more than once, okay? But some of you more than twice. And it's like, you... 
a lot of you guys, I feel like you still wonder if this person care for you or you still wonder if they keep keeping stuff from you. I mean, you guys, you could share children together. And some of you guys, you could possibly still be together. But it's like you're wondering if they're being honest with you. It's like you don't know. You, you really tired of being in your, your feels about this. Hmm. And I feel like this person done shocked you before in the past. They done did things that you you never thought that they would do. But this is going on in your environment right now. So in your environment, you're in the energy on of whether to take this person back or not or whether to trust them or not. Yeah. Oh shit, y'all. Let me see. I'm behind. Fear. Yeah, okay, so like the hopes and fears. It's the nine of wands. So I feel like your hopes, your hopes are to heal from this. To heal from from the pain that you went through, or even like things that you don't told yourself, like you're tired of being mistreated. You're tired of the trauma. You you're tired of drama. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you might suffer from like childhood abuse, like mentally, emotionally. You you don't went through relationships that has torn down your identity, like broken you down. And I, I feel like you fear going through this again. Some of you guys, Some of you guys are refusing to give up. Your hopes, you don't, your hopes is to not give up, to continue to fight. Hold on, let me clarify the nine of wands. Clarify the nine of wands here for the hopes and fears. Judgment. <laughs> for real. Dang, okay. Yeah, judgment is having a self-realization about yourself. Choices and things and decisions. You're, you're having a self-realization about yourself that you need to go through this healing. It's the only way. Like I said, you know it needs to happen, but I feel like some of you guys, you done procrastinated for a long time here. Yeah. Spirit, what's the outcome? <laughs> what's the outcome? The six of wands. Baby, you better believe it. Okay. You, you're going to be victorious. Okay. Look how she straddled up on that horse. You trust in spirit and you're having faith. Okay. You're keeping, you keeping the victory alive. You, you. <laughs> You're on your way to a better life, to a better you. No one is going to stop you. They're not. I don't care what come your way. You're going to be taken care of. You're going to be good. And I feel like a lot of you guys, you're actually going to, you're going to change yourself so much. You're going to have people looking up to you and admiring you. Okay. Okay. 